Hello and welcome to another lesson of public enterprise management. Now we're going to study the significance of public enterprises. Why are they so important? What is their significance? Because we have studied the objectives, we have studied the aims, we have studied why they are created, but why are they so significant? Private sector can do exactly what they're doing. So why are we needing the public sector? Why is this so? Because the public companies remain relatively important in traditional industries. This is so because they create the economies of scale. Now economies of scale are basically the those economies where productions increase the uh, the they lower the cost and the increase in the production can create more benefits or advantages for the economy. So the public enterprises, their focus is more on production and that production basically can increase, uh, would lower the cost and would increase the economy. So they increase the, uh, they mainly reflect the economies of scale that would make it difficult to achieve socially uh, optimal levels of private uh, productions. Now private production is challenging. Why? Because if anyone is privately producing anything, they can decide as per their cost and as per their requirements, they can decide any of the prices. But the public sector would provide anything, anything that they produce at the base price. So they lower the cost and even the price, which is why the utility of any of the productions that are done, they are much easier for common people. So that is why they create economies of scale. <clears throat> now importance of public enterprises are multiple. Most importantly, there's a planned development. Now whichever policy is there, accordingly there is a whole plan for it and there is a planned development in it also. You have a balanced development. There is no influx. There is no, uh, uh, th there's no imbalance because <clears throat> A government policy is created looking at the entire country or the entire economy. And so whatever the development is done, it is much more balanced and planned and then it accelerates the economic growth, very important area. It accelerates the economic growth, how? Because it creates the right competition. When they're creating something, they create something at the base quality. Now the private sector can go above it or below it. And accordingly, so there, there is a much variety that is provided because they are providing the baseline or the focus and accordingly the private sector in their competition can create anything that could be of their competition. Then it provides public services, very importantly, and then supply of essential goods and services. Most important over here is essential goods and services. Essential, most important, vital, most needed. These are the services and goods that the public uh, enterprises they provide. They create job opportunities and establish social assistance. These are some of the most important areas or the performances of any of the public enterprises. Looking at the case study of Nigeria, Nigeria wanted to upscale their economy. The economy was not doing very well, so what they did was they reformed three of their major public sectors through Again, if you remember the first lesson we said, there you always look at the gap. What is the need? You do the need analysis, then accordingly, whatever the policies you have, if you already have a policy and enterprise uh, working, if it needs improvement, you reform it. And that is what Nigeria did. They worked on the three major companies, which were, first of all, the Nigeria Electric uh, uh, Power Authority, and then the Nigerian Ports Authority and the Nigerian Airways Authorities. They all were reformed and new ones were founded as a result. It is clear that the evolution of Nigerian public enterprises engineered and took leadership of the country. So this basically, again, when you need a country or if you need to analyze how a country is performing, you always look at its private, uh, at, at its public sector. Private sector, has multiple influences. The private sector can have a lot of international influence, but the public sector works for the good of the country, for the policies of the country. So if your public sector is not doing well, this means that the government is not doing well. So this is what Nigeria did. They worked on three of the major areas, electricity, ports and railway authority, uh, airways authority. And so the transportation, when they took care of it, everything then, all these dominoes started falling into the right direction.
So, what we need to remember is public enterprises defined as the government owned businesses are established by the federal government. They are always established by the federal government through their policy. Public enterprises are formed in the public interest. Another very important area. They play important developmental roles in various aspects of the national political economy. Their main aim is to increase or to play a major role in the political economy of the country and this includes the security of some sensitive sectors that cannot be left to the mercy of the private enterprise because private enterprise can have a lot of international influence public sector also can have because again public policy you know you cannot create any of your policies uh, in isolation we are living in a country where every country has to interact with another one but what basically are the policies what are the requirements of the country by itself accordingly the policies are created and then accordingly those public enterprises are also created and this brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you.